let's get right into it. As we all know, we have a wide receiver on our roster who hasn't really lived up to any sort of expectation. He hasn't been able to get off or be productive in any way. Uh, as a matter of fact, the guy has less than 20 catches for a three-year career thus far. He's entering his fourth season in the NFL. And that player is J.J. Ortega Whiteside, wide receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles. And he has been one of the larger disappointments outside of Jalen Rager. Now, let's add some context to J.J. Ortega Whiteside's career. J.J. Ortega Whiteside, 6'2", 225 pounds, by all stretch of the imagination when it comes to measurables, should be a pretty imposing figure offensively. Age 25, was drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles in the second round, 57th overall. And he has not been productive in the NFL. Went to Stanford, played in the Pac-12. And J.J. Ortega Whiteside had a hard time transitioning from the college game to the NFL game. And it's not the easiest thing to do. I'll be honest, it's not easy all the time. Some guys hit the, hit the ground running. Some guys are late bloomers. It happens. But when it comes to J.J. Ortega Whiteside, his career had no sense of urgency, no sense of progression. It just seemed like he was the same player every single year. And it seemed like no matter what you do, no matter no matter what situation you put him in, he couldn't be successful. But I will give him credit in this regard. He can block. <laughs> Being 6'2", over 220 pounds, you better know how to block. But he can block. He is the Eagles' best blocking wide receiver. That's a fact. But bringing in a guy like Zach Pascal puts a guy like J.J. Figa Whiteside's job in jeopardy. Think about it. He does everything J.J. does well. And he does everything pretty well that J.J. can't do. Zach Pascal came in the league undrafted, has shown that he can be somewhat productive, giving you seasons of over 600 yards, being a number three option. You know what I mean? J.J., on the other hand, was given opportunities. There were so many opportunities given to him. There were times where he wasn't even active for the game. There were, there were, game, there, there were moments where J.J. didn't even wasn't even able to put his jersey on, wasn't even able to put his pads on because he was labeled as inactive. Never put on a practice squad, but just inactive. And I never and I never really understood it. But JJ Thicker Whiteside made it known that he's gonna be converting to tight end for the remainder of, I guess, his time with the Eagles or for his career, whatever it may be. Now, believe it or not, we called this Philly. We talked about it. We all talked about this last year, the year before. We we discussed we've discussed maybe JJ Arthega Whiteside should transition to the tight end position because of his relatively relatively tall stature, relatively imposing stature, being 6'2, 225 pounds. And on top of that, he's a really, really good blocker. So when you think about it from that perspective, he should have been thought about converting the tight end. We've discussed it. I can't remember who I've discussed it with, but it's been talked about. We put this tidbit in the air and now it's coming to fruition. And I'll be honest, I respect the move. I respect the move from JJ's perspective because he's trying to save his career. He's trying to save his roster spot. And by bringing in a guy like Zach Pascal, that puts him on notice that hey, your roster spot is far from guaranteed. And who knows? I don't know if the staff got in contact with him and said, hey, maybe this is something you should consider. Or maybe he got with his people in the offseason and said, look, JJ, you have nothing to show for your career with the Philadelphia Eagles at wide receiver. Throughout your entire career, you've accumulated 16 receptions, 290 yards, and one touchdown. Now, granted, he's averaging 18 yards per reception for his career. That's really good. But he doesn't have really too many opportunities to really make that number really plausible or, or really uh, make that number carry any weight. But 
JJ, time and time again, has not has been a non-factor on this offense. And now he has an opportunity to rewrite his career. He's young still. He's only 25 years old, right? And when you're young, the world is your oyster. You have every opportunity to get it right as long as you don't screw up your relationships, as long as you don't come off as not being a hard worker. And that's the thing about JJ Figa Whiteside. He was never labeled as not, as being as not being a hard worker. That was never his thing. He doesn't have the Jalen Rager syndrome, where Jalen Rager checks out some games and checks out here and there. Like he doesn't have that syndrome. It wasn't ever a work ethic issue with, with JJ Figa Whiteside. Just for some reason, it wouldn't connect. For some reason, and excuse that, you guys, they cutting some grass outside my crib. But for some reason. Things just couldn't connect with J.J. Arthur Whiteside. He had a hard time getting separation. He struggled going up against corners in the NFL. He struggled at the line of scrimmage. But putting him in that tight end position will probably allow him to take advantage of linebackers and their lack of speed. But linebackers are getting faster. Safeties are getting faster and more athletic. You know, a lot of these linebackers now are safeties converted linebackers. You know what I mean? Does he have the physical traits to be successful in the NFL? Yeah, I would say so. 6'2", 220 pounds plus. But he just couldn't make an impact. And JJ has this...